When it comes to the world of music, Aretha Franklin was a game changer and a legend. And Jasmine, they are now trying to tell Aretha's story. Yes, National Geographic, Nat Geo, is doing their third installment of their Genius series. So this one is Genius Aretha. Uh, it was written by Susan Laurie Parks. If you're familiar with her, you know, she is the Pulitzer Prize winning uh, poet and author. And she wrote uh, this anthology series for National Geographic, and it is phenomenal. It's easier for a woman to be the helpmate of a king than it is for a man to be the helpmate of a queen. Don't let that queen thing go to your head. I'm gonna let that queen thing go wherever I wanted to. They sent me seven episodes. I watched them all night. I mean, I literally was up until three o'clock in the morning. I could not stop watching. Every episode is so well done. Anthony Hem Hemingway, who was one of the um, showrunners for uh, the series on WGN Underground, is actually directing a few of the episodes, not to be confused with another project that's coming out. Respect will be out in the summer in August, starring Jennifer Hudson. But this is a eight episode TV series of sorts on Aretha's life, and it delves very deep into her humble beginnings in Detroit it really takes a look at her father's life. Her, her father was the one and only Reverend C.L. Franklin. He was a well-renowned pastor in Detroit. Um, also was very impactful in the civil rights movement, had relationships with Dr. King. You will see all of that in this anthology series and how much he impacted her career and really believed in her as a 12-year-old girl. So you have a young Aretha uh, played by another actress, and then you have Cynthia Riva. Cynthia Rebo playing adult uh, Aretha. And she does a fabulous job. There were some people initially who felt like she did not look like Aretha. There were songs on the B side that weren't, you know, wide, widely played on the radio, but they were still phenomenal songs. You'll hear her sing those. But um, one thing I will say, small spoiler, she does not sing Respect because for obvious reasons, Respect went to Respect to that film. But other than that, I think it's a, fa a fabulous, fabulous um, and well done anthology. It uh, airs on National Geographic on Sunday, March 21st, four days before Aretha's birthday. And um, it's a four night event. So you get two episodes per night. And then after that, it will stream on Hulu. Well worth it. Now, Jasmine, because we don't hear respect in this project, could you give us a stream team exclusive of you singing respect? Of course, you ready? <laughs> what you want, baby, I got it. It, what you need? I need the background. Who? You know, I got it. No, we can't afford that. We can't afford the rights to this music. So I'm going to probably, <laughs> gonna probably uh, mute you anyway. <laughs> and wait, and Jess, for the kids out there, there used to be these things called uh, records and the A side and the B side. And the B side is some of the stuff we're going to hear in this show. Yes, the, you will hear a lot. Listen, you will still hear some of her um, hits. But some of the ones, and I don't want to give too much away, but there are some songs you will not hear. So the one song that I will throw out there that you won't hear just so that you will not be disappointed, you won't hear respect, but you will hear so many others. I don't think you will be disappointed at all. And that's a fun little look at some of our favorite Emmy nominees. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the Emmys. And remember, you heard it here first on the stream team. We'll see you next time.